time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. I wanted to do a video a little bit more fun today, nothing serious, and go over my top 10 favorite bottles in my collection. And let's get right into it. Let's talk about some of the ones I've uh, showed recently. Well, this one was from my last video, and that is this kind of gold refillable Guerlain bottle. Some Sara EDP is in this one, all metal. Uh, also the metal cap, really nice. Oh, press the back. Nice little script there on the bottle. And these lines here kind of just remind me of a, kind of like a window at a church or something. Just uh, really elegant and really nice, especially that gold color. All right, that's one. Next up is, let's get into this one. This one is by an indie house. So I think this is pretty uh, impressive that an indie house was able to make their own custom bottles, caps and everything like that. Uh, very classic design, kind of reminds me of a Guerlain and that is Arige Lador's newer bottles in this classic kind of design and the kind of Arabic writing. I forgot exactly what it's called, but hopefully you can see it. He also has a Russian Adam there on the bottom of the glass. You can kind of read it looking from the top. And yeah, it kind of reminds me, like I said, of a Guerlain bottle. Just, I can only imagine what the molding on this would have cost to uh, produce especially for an indie brand. So very creative and uh, yeah, really cool. Next up, this one, I don't, I've never really seen a bottle like this before. I, it's typically not really my like taste. I, I kind of like more modern uh, bottles, uh, elegance, some sharp edges and corners, things like that, but just done really well and just quality in general but this one here kind of i don't know i guess kind of quirky sorry for all the noise kind of rush hour right now and that is v oh v uh, this is valentino's vendetta don't know what this is inspired by but i mean yeah it's just really cool this moves sprayer is actually pretty good on this integrated sprayer um the glass is kind of thin on this and uh, yeah, really cool. Next up is from an older fragrance, but I think the bottle is really modern and ahead of its time. And I think I've said this before and that is the Gucci Nobile bottle. Uh, just the design on that, fantastic kind of lines, beautiful, well done. Uh, a lot of these bottles I think the glass quality is really good no bubbles or anything like that uh, the lines are not as sharp but I guess maybe it was just felt like that All right, next next design is a classic uh, I'm going to show two examples of it and most of the time well this is from Chanel so this is a very vintage uh, design which they still use and on one of them, I think they use crystals, uh, crystal glass. Uh, I don't know if they still use that now for their parfum bottles, but and I think this is glass stopper too. Just pure elegance, but still ahead of its time and still works even today. And of course, this is even bigger version here. And although this is technically for all their feminine fragrances, I still kind of find this very kind of uh, masculine in a way, uh, the shape. But of course, the stopper kind of gives it away a little bit, but I still think this is pure elegance as well. Uh, really nice, nothing gaudy, uh, just done very, very well. All right, next up. Let's just get this one out of the way. I think I've talked about how I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites, and that is the Celine bottles. And this kind of, uh, this design reminds you of the Celine boutiques. 
I kind of get reminded of this kind of like a, a, like a disco almost in a way. And this cap kind of the way it reflects light also reminds me of kind of like a disco ball. Uh, and then the sides here, still just beautiful and elegant. All right, next, next, these next two I'm gonna place together because they're very similar and they're in this kind of apothecary uh, design. Uh, I don't know which one, I actually, uh, I do, well, here they are. And this is the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci Alchemist bottles. And a little bit different, as you can tell, obviously the top here is a lot larger and the sprayer is kind of built into the bottle in a way, sort of, All right? So it's kind of flat with this magnet here, but again, just beautiful elegance. Uh, great quality glass overall. And this one, I like the other bottle, but this is my favorite, because this is obviously like, this is one, it's not obvious, but this is like one of my favorite colors here. And so this is just really gorgeous. Nice details on the cap there. All right, very classic, nothing crazy, but again, that's kind of like what I prefer. Next up is I would say like one of the most modern bottles that just showed it. So let's just go with it. And that is the higher end line for YSL. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know who makes the glass for these companies, but the quality here is fantastic. No bubbles in the glass, sharp edges, just very clean. And the cap kind of makes it nice and flush to the glass. It looks like it kind of has these ridges, so it kind of gives you this like micro carbon fiber design with the chrome on top there. And the uh, the magnet just works really well. I don't know, just everything just says quality here and uh, like damn good fragrance. All right, these next two are from the same brand and I think this brand makes probably some of the best bottles overall. A lot of brands nowadays are just making the same bottles for every single fragrance. And, but this brand, I feel like they still make bottles for certain releases, for single releases. And this is like one of the most beautiful bottles by far. And that is the Hermes Gallo uh, presentation. <laughs> I look weird from behind it. Um, this is inspired by a stirrup kind of what you would put your foot in to get to get on top of the horse. And because that's what Hermes is known for, right? Leather and horses, saddles and things like that. And just amazing. I could just imagine the money that went into designing this bottle. And then they added this nice little string on the top here for the cap. And I don't know why, but this is like so satisfying just how smoothly it is designed. And a really nice fragrance too. And another bottle here, the last one, kind of simple, right? But a lot of fragrance houses now put everything into the same bottle, always the same colored glass. Uh, and typically they'll do is they'll put in colorant into the perfume to kind of give you an idea of what something uh, should smell like or the inspiration that uh, that the fragrance was. In this case, Hermes, I don't really think they use, although there is seems to be a little bit of color here, but they don't really seem to use a lot of colorants in their fragrance. And what they kind of do is here, for each release in the Hermesense line, they kind of give the color, the, the, the glass, a tinted color here, as you can tell, to match the mood of the fragrance. And it kind of matches the mood here perfectly with Queer Donge. Just really nice, again, elegant. And then of course their staple kind of leather in the cap there. Beautiful stuff. You know, we concentrate on smell a lot of times, but I think the presentations definitely uh, tell a story as well. And that's just some of my favorites there. Uh, let me know what you think and let me know what your favorite uh, bottle presentation is. Thank you. Take care. Bye.